My name is John of RatchetUpMedia.com and today I review the Zune Weeble S. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. My name is John, if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell to get instant notifications when I upload new content. Today I am reviewing the Zune Weeble S. Uh, a gimbal is one of the most important tools an automotive videographer can have, even an automotive photographer. If you're doing rolling shots and stuff like hanging out of a car, you could sling this thing over out the car, take a picture with your phone, to control your camera. It's a very important tool, especially if you wanna do video. And right here, this is a fantastic, fantastic specimen for this. This is added on, this is from my other gimbal, but it comes with this grip here. Scratch that. It comes with this bottom grip here that also doubles as a little tripod. It's locking, so when you actually put it into this part of it, it will lock into place. There's little pins and there's a little lock button on the side here, but I don't use it for the top. I like to keep two handles on it at all times because when I'm, I'll am i have my camera and I'll be holding it like this, kind of sideways with the camera on there going around cars, doing whatever it is that I have to actually do. But the nice part about it is that it does have the tripod that makes balancing insane. You know, this it has locks on all the axes, uh, even this access here. And then they will just lock instantly. And then boom, you take your, your tripod off the bottom there and you got a really, really, really compact gimbal, which is super nice. Um, there's a lot of different modes on it. Obviously I don't have a camera on it currently because I'm using both of my cameras. It has a little quarter 20 threaded hole on the side of it for mounting things like monitors or you know, extra just accessories in general. You can use, they have like a little transmitter that works for it that will transmit 1080 video to whatever can take it, your phone, a, a monitor. I don't know, I, I really love this gimbal. It has a really, really, really nice plate that just locks in place, comes out. It has a lens support on it as well. So when you're actually putting this back in, you'll push it and you'll hear it click. And now it's locked in place and it can't go anywhere. It has little locking tabs on the side here to lock your base plate. And then you have a lock here to lock your side to side balance adjustment. Right here, I'm not gonna move that because that's, I have this set for my camera. Uh, this is actually extremely, extremely easy to balance. Uh, once you get it very close and your camera is balanced, you can go into the menus in here and perform a calibration. It'll basically vibrate everything and set any type of compensations that it can to pre-calibrate the gimbal for you. There's a whole bunch of different modes. Hand follow, there's a selfie mode. Everything is controlled really easy here. And on the back of it, there is a little screen also to tell you what modes you're in, to go through the menus, etc. You have your, obviously you have a little dial here. You have your control for the actual movement of the gimbal head. This isn't about what this gimbal has. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you're looking into purchasing this gimbal. But my review of this gimbal is that it's totally worth the money. Uh, I would check Amazon frequently. It does go on sale quite a bit. I got this for less than $300 and I've definitely made my money back with it already. So it's actually, it's, it's just fantastic. You know, you can, you can get follow focus for it and everything too, which I believe is what this wheel is for. I've never actually messed with it, but it's like a digital wireless follow focus. And you could turn this little knob here and it will have attachments up top to actually turn the focus wheel on a lens if you wanted to manually focus it. I don't personally like manual focus. I'm too afraid to use it. But, but yeah, I, um, I did a little bit of a cinematic edit on my car to test this gimbal out when I first got it. So why don't we take a look at that and see what kind of a result you can expect using this gimbal. The video you're about to see was shot on a Canon R6 using a Sigma 35 1.4 ART.
All right, so as you can see, it is a very, very, very nice stable gimbal for not a lot of money. It really competes with DJI and all the other manufacturers that are manufacturing gimbals. So the body is made of like metal and plastics and there's rubber grips and stuff on it. It's actually pretty robust. It holds my R6 with a 24 to 105 F4 lens on it and it's a pretty heavy setup and it can balance that no problem. You know, it's pretty much towards the limits of it, but it, it will balance it out and uh, I can get good results with it. Now, a problem I've had with other gimbals, this is like my third gimbal, but the eye cup on a camera would hit this back motor here, not allowing you to actually like fully articulate it if you wanted it to go unslung. So that was one of my main concerns with this gimbal. And I can tell you right now that the Canon R6 with a 24 to 105 comes very, very close, but it doesn't hit. I've heard of people balancing a 1DX Mark II on this thing, and I don't know how that's possible. I believe the weight limit's somewhere around six pounds, don't quote me. Like I said, this is a review, not about the gimbal itself. I'm nowhere near that at this point. It has vortex mode, which is super cool. You know, like say if I'm coming through a car, the interior of a car, I can make it spin around in a vortex. That is a really neat feature. It's kind of hard to get to, which I can make a video about that, but once you understand how to use it, it's it's really neat. But yeah, this, this gimbal, is, it's, it's definitely made pretty well. You can hook a camera up via USB. Uh, I haven't done that. I don't really care that much. You can, I guess, control the camera from the gimbal itself. I don't have words on that because that's, I'm not trying to do that. Normally, if I'm using this, I'll have a little magic arm off the side with a monitor on it to you know really monitor what's going on it's kind of hard to control the gimbal and watch a screen a tiny screen on a camera and most of the time it will get in the way if you have your screen flipped out so just be mindful of that um, it comes with i believe they are 18 650 batteries they mount just underneath here you can actually probably just pop it off Yep, they are 18650s. I don't advise putting any vape batteries in this. But yes, all in all for the money, I think this is a pretty damn good gimbal. I've used it probably 25 times at the very minimum. I really am enjoying it. It makes editing way easier. That's a damn fact. But yeah, you can, you can mount anything right here. So like even if you wanted to mount a monitor, that's right on the back, you could totally mount a monitor right there and just watch your monitor as you're doing stuff. Personally, I don't do that because I like having the top handle to hold and go across. So now I guess I'll show you this. You'll take your tripod that came with the gimbal, and you'll thread it in just until it gets snug. Pop your pin, and you'll hear it snap in place. Now you got a nice rock solid gimbal for underslung stuff to get nice and low. Obviously anything that's quarter 20 thread will thread into this like, you could even thread right into the side here. I don't know why you'd want that, but actually I don't think I've ever done this. So now you have a nice little stable L-shaped type of apparatus here. This could be nice. I prefer it up top because then it's, everything's right in the center and you don't have to, you're not gonna be moving around like that, but that's something I'll have to try out. Again. Again. Son of a bitch. That is my review for the Zune Weeble S. If you are interested in the Zune Weeble S, down below in the description will be an affiliate link that I may get a small commission from. For other videos of me using this gimbal, please check below in the description. I will have linked my playlist to all of my cinematic shots. That is all I have for today's video. Any questions, please post them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you like this video, please subscribe and like the video. Show me that thumbs up. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.